Hello. I always remember one of my European projects several years ago when I was going to talk to one of the company. The company was working in new technology and internet. I approached them and I asked them if they can share with me information about the strategies towards all the workers and if they prepare somehow for the fact the workforce is aging. One honest person from this human department told me, we are not a good company for you to do research. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. We don't think about all the workers. We don't have to think about all the workers. Sounds interesting, because we don't have any older workers in our company. So it's fact. It's quite a challenge for me to do research in the company if they don't have any older workers. So, in fact, the question is if we, as a researchers, do have any knowledge about ages in the labor market. In one of study on employment recently uh, carried, we know that in Russia, Bulgaria and Georgia, already more than 60% of respondents agreed with the statement that young people should have more right to a job than older people in times where the jobs are scarce. Okay, I have a question to you. How many of you are thinking that someone is too old at 65 to work more than 20 hours per week? No one? Now you have a very good group now, <laughs> experienced. Already in Poland, more than half of employers consider that someone reaching 59 should think about retirement. Yeah. This attitude as well, we can somehow catch when we look at practices in training and investing in, in, in all the workers. In many countries, here I mentioned just a few, but it would be more than few, like Cyprus, Bulgaria, Romania, Italy, Spain, Portugal and Greece, not more than 15% of workers aged 50 plus reported that they have any training in last month. It's not a lot. So in fact, the results I have talked to, I have talked to you today comes from several international surveys. So we know about perceptions, attitudes, experience of ages in the labor market. And as researchers interested in this topic, we should use these existing results and data to order, to, to map and to the scope of the ages in the labor market. However, to see the whole context, what's going on in the ages in the labor market, we should not forget that there's a lot of different issues going on. First of all, we are interested in recruitment, performance, training, interaction with other colleagues and co-workers, and as well, retirement. The company which I mentioned you at the beginning of my talk is not exception. It's not exceptions because in many countries we're still missing information what's going on and if there is the problem with ages in the labor market. Companies are not so open with telling us what they're doing with their workers and what kind of the strategies they apply. Okay, we have some evidence already from surveys we can share as a researchers, but already after 20 years of my research in this field, I would like to share with some ideas with you and points, which I think that still puts very important question as a challenge. Is it in dynamic labor market environment? We have to remember that measuring the ages is a challenge. So what is my three points? First of all, as a researchers, we should use existing sources. And having these findings, we cannot go only for scientific conferences and present them and be happy. We should try to find a nice, good way to communicate with different actors which are important for the topic, with employers, employees, trade unions, policymakers. The second point, I think that we're still thinking that we are happy with surveys, we have to think about uh, using 
other options to have evidence. So try to have the facts, what's going on, not to think only about what people think that is going on. And it's much more needs the collaboration between different actors on the labor market. And the third point, much more difficult to organize, as many of us researchers can say, because we are not happy only to have only one snapshot, the information at the only one time. We should have to think about the new methods of research in developing them in the way that we can monitor these phenomena over a longer period of time. By the way, at the end, I would like to tell you that I'm going to contact my company again. Now the company is well known, internationally recognized in this ECT sector. So I hope that they will be very happy to say what they doing and how they treating all the workers in the company. Thank you very much. <laughs>